Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be doing what I think I'm going to be basically... I'm going to be showing what I've been doing basically the entire night uh, since the reset happened, which is supporting Team Desert Beauty and trying to win the race. Currently, she is literally neck and neck with um, Nero and uh, Salter. So, let's get into it. And then when I get into it, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. Uh, go Team Desert Beauty if you have the time to spare and you need some um, silver material you should throw them their way and I'll explain why as I kind of go in there not explain why but just kind of give the the whole backstory about why all of a sudden the Naito team is in first place let's see first I need to find a that one's perfect yeah so yep that's perfect so here's the basic backstory of it. In Summer 2, we know that this event takes place in J Japan as well. Um, in the Japanese version of the game, um, during the entire race, every team, um, which there are five teams, every team has won exactly one race except for one, and that's Team Desert Beauty. Team Desert Beauty across Japan's original rerunning of Summer 2, the rerun of Summer 2, and then when North America got it, they have never, and across every single version of this event that's ever taken place, Desert Beauty has never once ever come first in a race. <laughs> Just, it's never happened. Um, why has it never happened? Well, there's multiple reasons for it, so hold on to your butts for this one. So the big one, which is the one most people point to as the reason why Desert Beauty loses all the time, um... And in general, usually places low is because of uh, Sherazade, the giant tan, uh, the caster of um, caster of storytelling, as she's called in this story. Um, long story short, because of some dumb things that happen in the uh, Agartha story, a lot of the JP fan base do not like her for one specific line um, that she has in reference to another character. A line that was so bad that they had to eventually release an interlude with Sherazade where she apologizes for something that she technically did not say because it was a different version that was summoned in Agartha than the one that we have in our team. Um, I can't say what it it is she said because um, uh, it's a spoiler technically. But just know it has to deal with the fact that Sherazade wants to die. And around the time there was a big death that happened with someone. Um, so she basically called the character in question. Um, I guess the North American translation was an idiot, like an idiot of some kind. A fool, basically, is the nicer way of saying it. But I think when it was translated, it was treated more harshly than uh, how it was. I don't think Nursery Rhyme's going to be able to kill him. No, it's fine. Um, so that's the big number one, is because Sherazade shares a team with Naito, thus it brought her entire team down a whole peg because they were associated with each other. Um, that's case one. So Sherazade is basically seen as kind of tying the team down, especially in J Japan fanbase. Nowadays, enough time has passed where I feel like enough people have kind of switched on Sherazade. Um, not to an extent, maybe not to people who don't play out of the story. I should have let them speak. I'll let them do that next time. Go here. Oh, so this is the team I'm using, by the way. It is um, Nursery Rhyme, because she's NP4, two Scotties, and a Waver. And then I'm using the arts for times three bonus. And then because of this specific field, she gets an arts bonus in additional, which is why she's dealing so much damage. Um, she's not really a quick servant, so she can't benefit from Scotty farming. I'm just using her for the 50% NP battery. All right, let's get back into it. Um, so that's that. That's the first one. That's that's reason one. Here's reason two, which is a very big reason. And this is kind of going down all the reasons why specifically people don't pick them. Uh, number two is I think they never get the Berserker node. I think this is a con- like, now this is a gameplay thing where obviously the- anyone who's been playing this, um, event 
knows that all these characters kind of take a lot of hits to take down. They're super beefy for almost no reason, it feels like. Um, so a lot of newer players or people who don't like religiously play the game, they end up picking the uh, Berserker node to farm because that's the easiest one to farm because you can literally use anyone. Um, for example, if you don't have a caster built up for this node, kind of hard unless you have like a berserker that's ready for farming it can be pretty tough um to find the right person um so i think what ends up happening is that the person who has the berserker node ends up placing extremely high because a lot of people just end up doing it because it's super easy right um which makes a lot of sense uh that's one of that's another reason why uh Another reason I think this one also kind of goes into gameplay um, is sometimes the materials that a specific... So basically, when a player in general is choosing to grind a node, there's three things they look at. Um, it is how easy is it is number one, I think, to me. Uh, number two is what materials drop from this stage that I desperately need. Um, basically, the best drop rates for specifically Team Desert Beauty is round three and four, where three they have the greatest um, drop rate for feathers. So if you want a lot of feathers, you can farm them out and it, that's the only real way they kind of get a little bit of benefit from it. Um, and I forget what they have in round four, that's good. But basically their two best nodes are three and four and they never get it again. Uh, so that's why a lot of people are pushing specifically for round three. This is the best node for them currently. Um, oh, and, cl and claws. Claws also drop here, but I don't, I don't think I need claws. I do need claws. Okay, so that helps me. Um, and finally, the last thing, and this is a big one, and this is why if you've noticed the past two races have been won by one exact team, the other reason you want to pick a note is because you just like the women on them. Um, and for some reason, even though I think they... See, there they are. Who wouldn't want these two beautiful ladies to win? Yes. Anyway. Um, so the other, the last, the last one to me is which girl is on it? Which one do you actually want to see win the race? So we've got Team um, Desert Beauty here. Perfectly good team. Naito's a good girl. Sherazade, I really love Sherazade. I like her character arc. Not a lot of people do, and some people are put off by the giant booby uh, design. We got team, uh, I forget, I think it's called Hell something. It is Nobu and Mysterious Hero One X. Two very silly characters, well loved. Very hard competition. We got Helena with Team Satisfaction, which is her with Thomas Edison and Tesla. Um, I really like all those characters and I like their dynamics, so they get like kind of under horse bullets. Um, we got team, I call them, I think they're called team something, I call them Team Steel Ball Run because that is what I heard them described as. Because uh, they're the characters who are on horses. It is uh, Zong Zong and Raiko. And they're well loved because they are giant boobed women. Uh, and I like both of them as well, by the way. Uh, we got Team Steam, uh, which is Saber Fran, who's a very good girl. Then we got Moriarty, and then we have Babbage. And those are two very good uh, foils to go with her. And then finally, the team that has won the last two races in a row in first place. We have Team Shooting Star or something, uh, which has two saber faces on it who are two of the main characters of two different fucking fate routes. So it's like, <laughs> that's, those are the cover girls. They put a team with two of them. Mm, it's so stupid. So that's another reason. So all those factors combined, um, it, is, it has to come down to specific... Their materials were never good enough. Their, um... The material was never good enough. The specific node, like, they never got Berserker. I think there is a point where they get Berserker, but I'm almost positive they never get this Berserker. Um... You can correct me if I'm wrong about that. I'm perfectly fine with owning up if I'm not right about that. Um... And yeah, and then just in general, you have the stupid star-studded force that is... Two saber faces in the exact same team who are both five units, and one of them is Nero, and the other one is um, Saber Alter. So it's kind of like it's amazing that any other team that is not them kind of wins, but they find a way either with good uh, grind notes or because they're Berserker or because they're well loved, whichever one you want to look at. 
Um, so yeah, so Team Desert Beauty never won one. So I hope it's going to be a long, just because we're winning now, we're literally winning by barely a fraction of what's needed. They are literally like, I think if you look at the, I actually have the official site up. They are um, 40 minutes ahead, just barely though. And that's, that's not a lot. So that means at any point, if we stop grinding, they could easily lose their spot. Um, I would love to see it happen. I would love to see it just because they were literally the only ones. I love Naito. I can't believe she never won one because she's so good. Her summer outfit is extremely good. And I feel the least thing we can do is actually help her win one, especially since uh, Assassin uh, Summer Naito is not very good. Uh, she's very niche. She's an assassin that insta deaths and she has like a whole bunch of taunt skills, which are taunting units are never my favorite, so I don't actually use her very much because of that very reason. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the whole backstory for us. I would love to have them win once. Uh, the chances of it actually happening are very slim. They're borderline slim to none, I would say. Uh, even with this tiny lead that we have, eventually I'm gonna have to go to bed. Like, there's gonna be a point where we just stop grinding, and when that happens, it's game over. There's no real stopping the, um, momentum train that is two saber faces in one team. They're, like, too close, and it's too insane. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm doing, and that's kind of the backstory behind it all. Hopefully that kind of weird history lesson was entertaining for you as I kind of grind out this node. Oh, come on. Kick the shit out of this Chimera for me, Nursery Run. I like how Nursery Run has just been in the background, <laughs> slowly killing the Chimera on loop. It is because she has NP4 and that she's getting double arts buff from all this. Oh, nice. I need more of these. I had 30 when I started, and now I have much less. So, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. Hopefully they win. Chances are, while I'm... When this is uploaded, there will be around four hours left of the race. Um, actually, I don't know. Huh. We'll see. Keep, hopefully... Again, and don't don't take this also as someone saying like, oh, just only grind them. No, that's fine. You can grind whoever you want. To be honest, um, you could technically grind against grind against me if you want. It's all in good fun. Even though I'm gonna miss out on. We never got to see them win once. Look at them. Look at them in there, man. All right, that's the end of today's video. I hope you like that. I have five thousand of that silver thing. <laughs> I've been grinding. Actually, I can show my chip points right here. By the end of it, I'll show how many cheer points I've gotten, but I got like 395. That's not bad. I'm sure there's people with way more than me. So until next time, everyone, goodbye and have a good day. See you later.